Hello everyone, welcome to Shop for Shop. My name is Patrick. My name is Kurt. I'm Morgan. And I am Butter. <laughs> and today we are going to be playing a game of Lord of the Rings movie trivia. Oh, this is border on my shirt if you can see it. The way this game is going to work is I'm going to be asking a series of questions, true and or false. True and false. It's true, true or false. <laughs> uh, based on the Lord of the Rings movies, okay. I've made a point as a matter of Good. principle not to contradict the book Thank source God. material where the opportunity might arise. Okay. I was about ready to walk out. I was Sorry. like not going to be down with this. But, but, the structure of the game, because I thought I true out. and false straight up was a little yeah, too, too simple, easy. Yeah. I've provided the opportunity for bonus points periodically throughout the game. Okay. okay. For every true answer, the players have the opportunity to gain a point by answering correctly that it is true. Okay. For every false answer, we will have the opportunity to gain a point by correctly guessing that it's false. Okay. But additionally, the chance to earn a bonus point by providing me with what is the true answer. Okay. All right, so players, on your marks, get set. In the Fellowship of the Ring, <laughs> during his birthday party, when fireworks go off, giving all of the partygoers the impression that a dragon is attacking, Bilbo tells Frodo, there hasn't been a dragon in these parts for 500 years. True or false? God. On three, present your answers. I said true. Or just now. I said false 1,000. <laughs> Bullshit, you looked at my board, I did not. Bitch. Oh my god! False! A thousand years! What do you got? What do you got? The correct answer is that it is false. It is a thousand years. Yeah! Look out for the dragon! Dragon? Nonsense! There's been a dragon in these piles for a thousand years! You both get two points. Oh, thank you, Chuck! <laughs> Thanks, Put Chuck. him on the board! Question number two. Gandalf's name... Okay. ...in Elvish is presented as... Kuridir. What? Present your answers. I said false. I they said call false. him a badass motherfucker. False. True! And I wrote a little wizard with a little wizard dick stick. You mean with Gandalf? You forgot the beard. Well, Kurt, Morgan, okay. you both get one point. Yeah! Woo! Are you shitting me? Yeah. He's not a badass motherfucker? His name is presented as Mithrandir. Okay. Oh! That's okay. it. Yeah. Question number three. Arwen's horse's name is Asphaloth. Don't try and cheat, Tyler. Oh, fuck off. You were looking at your your Chuck, and Chuck just gave it away. When he first told me these answers, like, I got this. But now you're like saying, <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I'm going in blindly with this. I'm doing semi decently. Apparently, me uh, watching Lord of the Rings falling asleep. What's had the did bread well called that they eat? Fuck if I know. Oh, but that's if it means true or yeah, false, I would They say that like a bunch of times. It was true or false, I would get it right. Lambus bread. And look, more Lambus bread. Contestants, please present your answers. I said true. True. I said true and I drew a little pony. You all get one point. Yeah! Yes. Bonus what is it? point for a pony drawn. Asphaloth. I'm looking at a donkey, Is asphaloth. That is actually a gray area as far as my personal rule about not contradicting the source material goes because right. it was not Arwen who rescued Frodo after he stabbed by the Morgul blade in the books. All right, it's Pat, Dwarf number four. Two hours later. Question <laughs> number four. Okay. After Frodo is stabbed on Amun Sul by the Witch King. Okay. Okay. The name of the herb that Aragorn asks for, needed for Frodo's wound, mm. was Elvesreath. <sighs> was what? True or false? Was what? Was Elvesreath. There's technically two correct answers, but I. Okay, this accept, has to be one of them then. I will accept either one. So you if give you away call the me answer? false. And you provide the proper one. I'm not I will looking give at you that. Don't worry. This is funny. If you call me Hopefully. true, <laughs> because it's the proper one, I will give you the corresponding. Well, points. now we know it's false. <laughs> if you do, if you do, if you do. <laughs> Present your answers, contestants. I said false. Yes, for ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now I want to. I said it. false. He said elven hash. Yay. I said it was false Vicodin. You all get one point for yeah. guessing that it was false. <laughs> but you don't get the point oh. for guessing that its name was King's Foil. Uh, they use that off-brand stuff, right? <laughs> off-brand shit. <laughs> it's a, it's a whole brand. It's a holistic hey, Okay, I that? was pretty close <laughs> with Elvin Hash. <laughs> if I guess King's Oil. Question number five. Mary and Pippin were stealing from the crops that belonged to a farmer named Maggot. Contestants, 
present your answers. I said true. I said true because nothing could be really that name. I said false. It was his uncle, T. Baggins. <laughs> nice. The answer is true. The guy's name was Farmer Maggot. Nice. What? You've been into Farmer Maggot's crop, haven't you? <laughs> that was just a joke. Like, Chuck, let's cut to a clip. Maggot? You've been into Farmer Maggot's crop. Boom. Question number <laughs> six. The oh, no. leader of the Nazgul what? was also known as the Witch King of Karnduin. True or false? I said, um, I said false of Minas Morgul. I said true, question mark, because I don't fucking know. <laughs> I said true, because, yeah, I know that's a place. <laughs> Kurt, you get one point. <laughs> no. Oh! Okay. The Witch King of Angmar. Hey, oh! I should have known this from all those games of Battle for Nothing. <laughs> you one, were, that I want to point place. out. Karn Doom and Minas Morgul are not entirely incorrect. Okay. Karn Doom was the capital of Angmar, so I, and Minas I Morgul is the you city from which he emerged. You only fucked up a little bit. You don't get a point for that. So you only fucked up a little. You get props, but only one point. Only one goddamn point. <laughs> one. You fucker. God damn it! Get your shit together, Kurt. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway, question number seven. Because okay. I'm just gonna move right along. Good. The battering ram used on okay. Minas Tirith's gates okay. in oh. the Return of the King. Okay, yes, yeah. The is one. named Gothmog. I won't feel bad I for know. you if you get this wrong because they literally chant the I name know. as it's being wheeled up. Are we ready? Contestants, <laughs> ready. Wait a it is, present <laughs> your answers. I said false, Morgoth? I said true, but the T got erased. I said true, bitch. I said it was <laughs> false. It was a flaming hog demon. Because it was. Please let me be right. Hog. Please let me be right oh, with wolf? these answers. The answer is false. God damn it! So, Kurt and Butter, you both get one point. Okay. However. Oh, come on. The oh, name please, like, of the battering right. ram is Grand. What is the translation of that? Flaming hog demon. That's <laughs> right. And that's one that Well, actually, it's a dragon, so. Gothmog is his name given in the movie. He doesn't appear in the book, but Gothmog is the name of the Lord of Balrogs in the Silmarillion. Oh. It's, so, it's like that orc that looks like a walking herpy. Also, yeah, Grand, Grand, the name given to the battering ram is the name of Morgoth's hammer. So Kurt was when kind of right. When he fights mm, Fingolfin, okay. the High King of the Noldor, it's in the Silmarillion. Game, bro. You guys, nice I, I gotta rewatch those I would, movies. I would give yeah, you right? a point for being the closest. But props will do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. It's like a king coming by. Man. Question number eight. 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 <laughs> eight. It's eight, right? Uh, it is uh, eight. Okay. Eight. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, the count. Question number eight. Galadriel's gift to Frodo upon departing Lothlorien. Oh. Who? Shh. Galadriel, bro. Galadriel. The, the witch. Her gift to Frodo. Okay, it's a girl. That's all I needed. Okay. Upon leaving Lothlorien. Yes. Okay. Is a vial containing the light of Luthien. True or false? You should know this. You should all be ashamed. My answer is the best out of all of you guys. <laughs> Just a warning. Boop boop. Locked in. Boop boop. I have the best answers. I have the best words. I have the best answers because it's right. Mine's not right. Contestants, present your answers. I said true. I said, fuck, with an F underlined if I know. I'm guessing the implication there is false. Yes. <laughs> okay. And I said, I said false, and I wrote other word, but then I wrote Lothlorien? That sounds like it's from Star Wars. Galadriel's gift to Frodo is a vial containing the light of Arendil. Oh, god damn it, yeah! It is false. So our two false guys... Oh, no. Our two false guys. Oh, come yes. on, come on. Other word. Get one point each. Other ah. word. It was another word. Question sure. number nine. Sam was at one point a ring bearer. True or false? So how does this false one work? It's like false, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's true that Sam was at one point a ring bearer, you write true. If it's false, you write false. If it's false, you can get a second what point. What if he carries someone Wait, I can say rings. false? This is true and get an extra point? My contestants, is this true or false? Are you Alex Trebek? Sure. <laughs> I said false because technically the ring bearer Frodo went to Greyhaven and Sam did whoa, not whoa. was not able to go because technically he did not carry the ring. 
He carried a photo. <laughs> I hope I'm right. I said true. Uh, just because I went off my instinct of true. <laughs> no answer. I said true because when he had to carry that bitch up the mountain because he passed out. So technically he did bear a ring. Kurt, you receive zero points. Morgan, <laughs> you receive one point. Butter, damn it. You receive one point. Oh. Because the reason he was a ring bearer was because after it she off him. Oh! him and oh, the yes. orcs take him. Oh, that's right. He takes the ring from Frodo and, he gets all and returns up. it to him after he rescues him from Is that the end uncle. of the first that's one? Right. Quizmaster props. If we're that was gonna, a good question. If, no, he only props me. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna bring the annals of Middle Earth into this. Sam lived along. Question number 10. Sauron's tower is named Orthanc. True or false? Present your answer. I said false. This is not the place where you destroy the one, one ring. That was what it was called to just kind of deceive people. I said false, and then one ring to rule them all, and it's a cock ring on a dick. Nice. And I wrote oh, I like true, <laughs> and Morgan's wrong. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna society win. Butter. You get zero points. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Morgan, the answer is false. I get a point though! Because the correct answer Sauron is Tower. Baradur. Oh. Baradur! Baradur! Well, Morgan won. Thanks for tuning in. But it doesn't matter because Morgan won. Yay! Yay! Predator already. Kurt, what is Congo? Congo is not alien. And it wasn't Predator, right? It was not Predator. Okay. Is it any affiliation with alien or Predator? No. I'm but I'm not gonna share any hints, so yes. That's making sh <laughs> So <laughs> Oh, this is this is, this is a good one. I didn't expect this much music and ambiance in the beginning of the thing! God damn it! Wow. Music and ambiance, the thing! <laughs>